I am Anil Kumar and before we get into details of volume, let us get conversant with the units. So in this video, we will learn how to convert centimeter cube and milliliters into liters. The question here is, convert each measurement to liters. So the conversion factor, as you know, is one centimeter cube is equals to one milliliter. And as far as the liters are concerned, one liter is thousand, one thousand milliliters. You can use this conversion factor and then answer the question. So you can pause the video now, answer, and then check with my solution. This is how we are going to do. As far as the liters are concerned, now we can see that one centimeter cube is one milliliter. So one liter is thousand milliliters and it is also equal to 1000 centimeter cube, correct? So that is how we can relate them. And now what we can do is we need to convert 2000 centimeters to liters. So if you do the reverse, that means centimeters to liters, you have to divide by 1000, correct? So if you look like this, you say one centimeter cube is equal to 1 over, you have to divide by 1000, 1 over, divide by 1000 to get liters. So in the first case, we'll divide 2000 by 1000. So if I divide 2000 by 1000, I get 2. So I get 2 liters. So that is how we are going to get the units, right? So converting from milliliters to liters means getting to a smaller number. Since we are getting to a smaller number, we have to divide, correct? So we can write this as 250 milliliters is, you have to divide this by, we know 1 liter, we know 1 liter is 1000 milliliter. You could write like this, just to remember, right? So this helps to understand that milliliter, milliliter will cancel out. So effectively, you are dividing 250 by 1000. Dividing means you have to move your decimal three places to the left, make the number smaller, right? So when you do that, what do you get? You get 0 0.25, right? 0 0.25. No need to write that zero after decimal liters. Do you see that? You're left with liters. So that is how you could convert the units. This is a very effective way of converting. So you could apply the method of direct division, write the units as we did, or like this, as you like, right? One milliliter, one milliliter we know is one over thousand liters, right? So we know one liter is thousand milliliters, therefore one milliliter is one over thousand liters, which you could write as 0 0.001, correct? Because if I divide 1 by 1000, so think like this, there are so many zeros here, right? So you are moving decimal to three places, 1, 2, and 3. So you get two zeros and then 1, right? So that is how you have to do. So 1 milliliter is equal to 0 0.001 liters. You can always check your answer. If you multiply by 1000, do you get 1? That's a good way of checking your answer, correct? So that is how you can do it. And let's leave this for you to do. Try to convert 25 centimeter cube to liters. And how are you going to do it? You are going to divide this by 1000, right? To get liters. So divide it, write down your answer, and then move on to the next question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.